Hi, my name is Daniel Morris. I'm an engineer here at Aptera, uh, and I work with the vehicle integration team. So I try to bring everything together and make sure it's an integrated system that gets to you as a highly functional vehicle. We're also making it so the car is going to be repairable and serviceable and making it so it is easy to perform any maintenance so you don't mechanically total a car just because you need new brakes. At least for me, a right to repair means that you are able to repair. There's not any barriers put up by the manufacturer. If you decide to repair your Aptera on your own, uh, there will be documentation that's very clear and very user friendly, uh, explaining exactly what steps are required that would allow you or any qualified uh, independent shop uh, to easily uh, diagnose and repair your Aptera. Within the toolkit, there will be a set of tools that can do 80% of the jobs that would be required. We want to make it easy. We want to make it so any user who feels like they're confident in their abilities, they will be able to look at it and they will know exactly what needs to be done. And then that in, in turn will actually make them more confident and be able to have successful uh, repairs. Really specialized tools or specialized processes that are impossible to do. It'll be like if you need to recalibrate something, you can do it. So the most challenging part of my job is probably going from the big picture of we want this to be a very efficient, serviceable, and long life vehicle and distilling that down to like what screw you're going to use. Where is it going to be accessed from? You have to look at that from both when it's accessed in the field and also when it's being assembled. So it's really, really difficult to kind of have the big picture and then be able to apply that down to the smallest detail. So a uh, fun part of my job here at Aptera is I've become the designated test driver. Uh, so I get to drive a bunch of uh, very unique and, in and interesting and amazing people around. And everyone is so enthusiastic about the car and its capabilities. It can all seem like a pipe dreamer until you actually get in the car. And I may have a bit of a lead foot and we pull out away and uh, then that is really the the sensation that really gets to, to people where it's like oh this is this is a real vehicle. If I had to choose I would probably choose Soul. I very much like kind of the black and white aesthetic. It's kind of a bit of a like stormtrooper look. On a road trip I would want to take uh, the Aptera probably right up the California coast. Uh, it's a really beautiful drive.